What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. JP the Stock Guy here bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly update where I share with you guys how much money I made in dividends for the month of July between both my brokerage and my Roth. So typically how I like to do these videos is I share my brokerage dividends and then I share my Roth dividends and then I will tell you the total amount of dividends I got for the month as well as where my portfolio started at July 1st and where it ended August 1st. So give you guys kind of a month to month update there and how much I invested and what my plans are moving forward. So make sure you stick around and let's jump right into it. Now, before I share my dividend income for the month of July, if you find this video beneficial or entertaining, please drop me a like down below and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it and it only takes two seconds. Now, let's take a look at these brokerage dividends. So starting out with a very consistent monthly pair, we have Realty Income, which paid me $7 and 35 cents the next one also a monthly dividend is stag industrial and they paid me three dollars and seven cents and stag is a company i actually sold in the month of july so from now on i believe my realty income dividend will be between i want to say like seven and nine dollars and then stag will no longer be paying me out so basically i took all my money from stag and put it into realty income just because uh realty income has grown their dividend a little bit more and overall, I just felt a little bit more confident with that business model compared to Stag. But nothing against Stag. It's not like I was super against it or I'm very bearish on it. It was just more of the dividend growth side of things. And then moving on to the third stock that paid me in my brokerage was JP Morgan, and they paid me $14.80. Now, I must admit, I did get paid this on August 1st, but JP Morgan's payout date is usually the 31st. So sometimes that rolls into the next month, but I always count it when it was supposed to be paid out, which is July 31st. So that 1480 is going in the July bucket. Now, moving on to my Roth dividends, the first company that paid me was Best Buy and I received $2.93 from them. This was a company I started buying earlier this year and I actually still like the business model um, and I'm very bullish on Best Buy. Their financials are really good. Their valuation is actually insane. Go take a look at it. Super low PE. The price of sales is really low for Best Buy and it's not like it's a flat company or it's not growing, but yeah, $2.93. It is a company I should probably be buying more of. I'm, I'm fairly confident in them. Um, but yeah, overall, that's what I got from them. I also received a dividend payment from VU, which is the S&P 500 ETF held under Vanguard, and I received $3.62 from them. This is 20% of my Roth. So my Roth will always be 20% VU no matter what. So 362 now. Hopefully next year I'm making, you know, maybe $7, $8, maybe even $10, who knows. But it all depends on how much I deposit at the end of the day there. And then the last company that paid me in my Roth was Vici Properties, and they paid me $11.14. Now, Vici has been kind of a beast this year. I mean, they're outperforming the S&P 500. They still pay a very nice dividend yield. They have pretty solid financials and growth. It's definitely a top three real estate company for me right now. So if you were to add up all of these dividends that I was paid out between my brokerage and Roth, my total dividends for the month is $42.91, which is only slightly above the previous quarter of $41.36. But I'm actually surprised about that. I thought it would be maybe less than that $41.36 that I got in April because I've sold QYLD. I'm no longer getting that dividend every month. So I'm curious to see where the dividends, you know, obviously with me selling QYLD and not getting that monthly dividend, my dividends are going to be kind of flat or maybe drop from the previous quarter. But I do expect as we get into the fall, especially winter time, I do think it'll continue to grow and pick back up. So that is my total for dividends for the month of July, which I'm very happy about $42 doing nothing. That's pretty easy if you ask me. And then taking a look at my total portfolio value, as of July 1st, my portfolio was at $19,082. And as of August 1st, I was at $20,548. So how much money did I deposit? What would you guess? I deposited $0, believe it or not. So that $1,500 difference from July 1st to August 1st was just pure capital gains. And that's a 7.6% return which is insane. And obviously that's month over month return. I'm not saying that's my year to date return, but if you compare that July 1st to the August 1st, it's gone up by 7.6% and I didn't put a single dollar in. So that's from the capital gains there. And don't get me wrong, part of me does regret not putting any money into the market. And it's not necessarily because it just went up and there was a lot of gains for the month of July, but it was more that I have always said, at least on this channel since the beginning of the year, that I plan on putting money into the market every single month and being very consistent. And well, if you skip a month, that's not as consistent, obviously. So that is kind of the main reason I regret that. But at the same time, I always prioritize having zero debt over investing. Like if I have $300 on a credit card, 
I'm going to pay off that $300 compared to putting $300 in my, you know, investment account. So that's just kind of the way I roll. Once I have zero debt, which as of right now I do, then I can focus back in on investing and starting to build that up. As well as I've mentioned in a lot of videos, I'm actually saving up a lot of money to try and buy a house right now. So that's another priority is I'm saving money to buy a house. I want to make sure I have zero debt because that's a factor when you go to get the loan for the house, et cetera, you get the point. But anyways, that is my update for the month of July. I received almost $43 in dividends. I had $1,500 in capital gains. So July was a really good month. I'm always very long-term bullish on the stock market. I really don't care what happens from this point on. If it goes up, great. If not, I'm gonna be buying regardless. So um, I'm very confident in my holdings. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. How much money did you make in dividends for the month of July? Or how did you do in the stock market as a whole? Did you see a nice growth? Did you go down? I'd love to hear what happened with you guys. Please comment that down below. I'd love to read and see what you guys have to say. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.